Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love. We're also going to look at who you might be dealing with a little bit um, and we'll ask Spirit for what message you need to know or hear for love relationships. So let's jump right into it for Taurus. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, please guidance. For Taurus, regarding love. Regarding love, relationships. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? What message do you have for Taurus? Taurus, keep in mind that these readings are general. So they cannot and will not resonate with every Taurus watching, okay? Take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out the Taurus playlist that I have linked in the description box. There are a lot of videos there for your sign. Okay, so let's see. Messages. Four of Swords. The Devil. Capricorn Energy. The Chariot. Cancer Energy. Ten of Wands, the Hermit, Virgo energy, Page of Cups, bottom of the deck, and the overall energy, the Ace of Wands. So this is all about like a new beginning, a new start, something that someone's feeling very passionate about, driven to take some sort of action perhaps because we have the Chariot. Now with the Hermit and the Devil, I feel like someone isn't in a situation, this could be you, this could be the person you're dealing with or have been dealing with um, or will be dealing with in the future if they're coming in. But I feel like someone's been in a difficult situation where they feel stuck. And it, it's like with the hermit, they're trying to figure a way out. I think someone's feeling burdened and is kind of like maybe emotionally checked out here with the Four of Swords. Or maybe they're just trying to be very centered, level-headed, reflecting on how they got into this situation in the first place or reflecting on whatever burden or baggage they've been dealing with let's see what else we need to know what else do you need to know taurus for any guidance messages for taurus spirit what are they need to know? okay we have bountiful harvest what else what else for taurus what do they need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Sweet dreams. Your dreams are becoming reality. So Taurus, it's almost like there's something there for you. There's abundance. There's manifesting abundance. There's manifesting growth. Your dreams being realized. And then moving forward to the bottom of the deck. So yeah, again, it's like someone's thinking about a new beginning, a new start. Maybe they're making certain moves here moving forward into a new cycle we will see let me get this little tiny deck to clarify can i have some clarity please for taurus what do they need to know taurus you could be dealing with a cancer a virgo a capricorn it does not have to be but those are the signs that just happen to be out right now what else do we need to know Tell me about this Ace of Wands. What is this Ace of Wands about? Why are the Ace of Wands here? Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Justice. Wow. Libra energy. So this is about something that's fair, balanced, right. This new beginning could also be because of a legal situation. Like maybe a legal situation has been resolved. Can I get one more, please, for the Ace of Wands? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is really a card about reflection, healing, rest, not doing, you know, you're not taking any sort of action. You're not communicating. I almost feel like this is what you've been dreaming of. You or someone else have been, like, dreaming about this. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands. What do we need to know about these energies down here? For Taurus, please. Ten of Pentacles. Another ten. And the Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's like worries, anxieties. What's this? The Moon. Pisces energy. The unknown. Worried about the unknown. 
Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Fool. Again, new opportunities. Somebody who's like obsessed with the new. But there's anxieties here. Worries, stress, burdens. Pisces energy with the moon. And the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. There could be some worries about money, maybe worries regarding a long-term commitment or something actually making it to a long-term commitment. Hmm. Let's keep going and see if I get a better picture here. Tell me about the devil and the hermit. Tell me about the devil. And the hermit. What do we need to know about this devil and the hermit? The star, Aquarius energy. A lot of major arcana is coming out. Tell me about the devil and the hermit. Queen of Swords. To me, those are like opposite energies to, in a way. Tell me about the hermit and the uh, the devil. I was going to say the Capricorn energy. <laughs> Tell me about the devil and the hermit. Temperance, another major arcana. Sagittarius energy there. Yeah, because they're, they're opposite energy. Okay. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Let me look at this a little bit because the star is all about hope, faith, renewal, healing. Four of Swords is also about healing as well. But I don't think this is a situation about healing. I feel like this is more about hope or faith that something here will come together with temperance. Because someone's worried or hopeful when it comes to that Ace of Wands. The Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords is telling me it's almost like maybe someone's just looking for clarity, seeking clarity, seeking truth. Also, the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords, they would cut down anything that stands in their way. So if someone's thinking about getting out of a situation and hoping that it works out, this is that energy right here. A Queen of Swords energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Queen of Swords is just, let's move forward. Let's get to the bottom of this. Boundaries are straight up like set. Nobody can get to this Queen of Swords. And this Queen of Swords is not hesitant to use this sword. But then over here, I have doubts, fears, anxieties, unknown, uncertainties. Tell me about the chariot and the page of cups. Now this could be interpreted as someone coming in to deliver this message, this page of cups. Tell me about the chariot and the page of cups. Tell me about the chariot and the page of cups, okay? Three of cups. Tell me about the chariot and the page of cups. Six of pentacles, okay? One more please for this chariot and the page of cups. Why is the chariot here, this page of cups? Page of wands. I think that this is someone that could be wanting to uh, meet up with you. Let's get together. Let's talk. I have something to say. This page of cups. This could also be an apology. Can I get one more please for this page of cups? Page of cups. Why is this page of cups here? Why is this page of cups here? Yeah, the tower. So I feel like this could be an apology from someone. Nine of pentacles. I think someone's going to come over to apologize, to be honest. I mean, I'm always honest with you, Taurus, but that's what, I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing here. Six of Pentacles. It's almost like, let's balance things out. Let's fix things. And that could be the Ace of Wands with Justice as well. And the Four of Swords. Let's heal this. Let's fix this. Let's have this new beginning. But I feel like someone here... Okay, so now this is making sense. If this is someone that's wanting to heal a difficult situation, which is a tower, I think they're trying to figure out a way... To balance this out with temperance, the star, again, balance and healing. 
maybe they're hoping this Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, Page of Cups will do it, this communication. But they're not sure about it. They're not sure if this is going to work out, Taurus. Whoever this is, this could also be your energy. Your energy, you're not sure. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Seven of Cups. Oh, how to say it, what to say. The High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Someone's secretly thinking about this, or they're just hoping their intuition, their inner voice will guide them here because they're not sure what choice to make, how to say something, what to say. Yeah, there's the Four of Cups. So this could be somebody worried about rejection, and then there's the Eight of Cups. So either this person has walked away from you in the past, Taurus, and they're coming back in, or you have decided to move forward, move on with your life, and someone wants to kind of like talk to you about it, maybe prevent you from doing that. Let's see. Tell me more about this person. Spirit, tell me about this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? What guidance, what messages can you give us about this other person? There's that Queen of Swords again. Yeah, so this person wants to talk to you. Um, it, this is a direct conversation, very honest and open conversation. The Queen of Swords does not BS. Very cold almost she can be. Can I get, this could be an air sign that you're dealing with. Tell me about this person. What, do we, what else do we need to know about this person? Ace of Swords. Oh yeah, this person just wants to talk. Like that's all, that's what's on their mind. Wanting to tell you something, wanting to talk to you. There's the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So maybe they're hoping for a change, a turnaround. Let's see. What does this person want to say to Taurus? What do they have to say? What does this person have to say to Taurus? Or what do they want to tell Taurus? What does this person want to tell me? Okay. Ah, I just dropped them. Okay. I miss you and I wasn't ready. Okay. Yeah, this person's coming in to tell you this because they're not, they're not with you right now, whoever this is. I have a lot on my plate at the bottom of the deck. Let me see if I can clarify with the clarifying deck. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. They weren't ready and I, they cost the tower is what I think happened here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Eight of Cups. Okay, so they want to talk about this departure. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. If they walked away from you in the past or you had a breakup in the past, I think they still miss you and they want to talk about it. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I think they're still interested. Motivated, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, King of Wands. You get one more for the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. The Hermit, again, Virgo energy. I think that they've been thinking about you wherever they are. Five of Swords, yeah. Maybe they've been dealing with difficulties wherever they are. Um, maybe they weren't honest with you in the past. Maybe they, they you had conflicts in the past and one of you decided to walk away. I could tell you that their feelings have not changed. You get one more. Can I get one more energy for this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with, Spirit? What do we need to know about this other person? It's time for me to heal now. I know that I crossed the line with you and I couldn't let you get close to me. So I think that this person, this is time for me to heal now. I think this is probably what you told them or you told them something like, this isn't fair to me. I deserve more than this. Um, I need to, I need time apart. I need to think about what happened. I need to process what happened. I need to get my affairs in order, et cetera, et cetera. They know they crossed the line with you because I feel like you have moved on into some extent, Taurus. Or if you are thinking about moving on now, you're doing so with the intent that 
you're doing it with the intent that it's like a final decision. Like there is no coming back from this decision that you're making to move forward. If that makes sense. Let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. Also, this could be that someone messed, you had a tower moment in the past. Time has passed since then. And this person is still thinking about it, still wanting to talk about it, wanting to talk about whatever past this is with the five of swords. They probably even told you like, Hey, I couldn't let you get too close to me. Right? So I couldn't, I wasn't ready for this type of connection at the time. I made excuses at the time. I wanted to focus on myself at that time, or I felt like maybe I wasn't ready for whatever it is that was expected of me in this particular relationship. Maybe they were immature. That could also be the case. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. Hopefully this reading resonated for you. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.